Okay, hi everyone. Today what we're going to do is we are going to work on long division. And you might have thought we left long division way back in the fourth grade, but we're going to actually do long division of large polynomials. Or, um, yeah, just large polynomials, larger than normal. Something that we can't factor. And sometimes when we can't factor it, like regular division, we'll end up with a remainder. So we'll talk about today how to write things as a remainder. So let's just do a quick review of what we think about when we think about division. If I say 3 uh, divided by, oh, the other way, other way around, um, let's say 123 divided by 3, we end up with a couple different ways. We can just see it and say, hey, 3 goes into 12 four times, and 3 goes into 3 one time, so it's 41. So 123 divided by 3 is 41. If you want to double check it, 41 times 3 is 120 plus 3. That's 123. Yep. All right. So now we have a couple ways of also looking. Oh, she just came in. Uh, another way of looking at this is also um, factoring. What are the factors of 123? And the answer is, I don't know, right? To start, I don't know what the factors of 123 are. So you start thinking about numbers you can divide uh, 123 by. I can't divide by 2. Can I divide it by 3? And our trick for dividing by 3 is if I can add the numbers 1 plus 2 plus 3, that equals to 6. And if I can divide 6 by 3, that means we could divide 1, 2, 3 by 3. And that was a trick that we had uh, learned previously. Okay. So if you want to figure out, can I divide a number by 3? You add up the numbers. How do you tell if a number is divisible by 2? The l it's an even number. The last number is even. Okay. How do you know if something's divisible by 10? Well, there's a 0 at the end, right? How do you know if something's divisible by 5? It's either 5 or 10. So we had different tricks that we built up over the years of knowing how something is divisible if you can divide into it. Now the factors of 123, we said, hey, if I divide 123 by 3, we end up with 41. So the factors of 123 is 41 and 3. Now this is very similar to what are the factors of easy numbers that we know, like 10. What's the factors of 10? Numbers that multiply to become 10 are 5 and 2. Numbers that multiply to become 8 are 2 and 4. Or you can break up the factor of 2 times 2 times 2. So when we're looking at factors, look at the multiple, what do you multiply to get that original number? And let's do one more. If I say 20, this could be 4 and 5. Or this could be 2 times 2 times 5. These are the factors. Sometimes we say factor completely. Okay. Now when it came to polynomials, if I wrote x squared plus 6x plus 8, we, were set, we, we can factor this by hand. We know that numbers that make 8 are 1 and 8 and 2 and 4. And we know that uh, 2 plus 4 also gives us a 6 we wanted. So we said we can factor this by x plus 2 and x plus 4. So we're able to factor it because we can see it and we have tricks that we've been working with to factor values out. Now, what if I see x squared plus 6x plus 8? Right? Well, if I see this, and I don't know what the factors are. So what we're going to do today, we're going to experiment with polynomial long division. And that, in the end, the goal is not just dividing, sure, but the goal, the end goal is for us to be able to use this trick to end up factoring large order, order polynomials, something that we couldn't do earlier. It's going to be a new skill that we can use uh, to factor these problems. All right, so I'm going to teach you guys long division today. So let's go back and talk about long division. So I'm going to do our problem like we did before. 123, and we're going to divide this by 3. Now, from fourth grade, when we looked at long division, we did a couple of steps. First, we would always match. Step one was match. Step two, so match, we say, hey, what number times 12 Oh, what number time? Wait, three times what number will give you twelve? I'm sorry, three times what number will give you twelve? And three times four. So we do this as we want to match it. Three times four is the closest possible twelve. The second step was to multiply. 
So we multiply downward. 3 times 4 is 12. Right? We populate that next line. 3 times 4 is 12. And the third step was, if you remember, we subtract. We subtract 12 from 12. We throw a negative sign in the front. That gives a 0. We bring down the next line. And we restart our three steps. We will match. What, 3 times what number is 3? 3 times 1. We multiply. three ta 1 times 3 is 3. And then we subtract. Now these three th steps we use for long division are the same three steps that we're going to use for polynomial long division. So we're going to do long division with polynomials today. So I'm going to divide this. I'm going to tell you guys what I'm going to divide this by. I'm going to divide this by x plus 2. Because first of all, we know that that's a factor and that's going to work. So we'll, we'll do one where we know it's going to work and we're going to do one where we don't know it's going to work. Okay, we're learning the tools right now that we can uh, apply later. So here we go. I want to write this inside x squared plus 6x plus 8 and we have x plus 2 in the front. Right. Very similar to what we would write on the right side. If I write 1, 23 divided by 3, we would write it in this long division form. So the stuff on top goes inside and the stuff on the bottom goes on the outside. So we are going to go through our three steps. We're going to match. I'm going to step two, multiply. And step four, I'm going to subtract. Also, oh, step three, I'm going to subtract. Okay, here's our three steps. So the first step is to match. Now, we, here's what we're going to match. So we're going to match the front to the front, okay? So x times what? is x squared. Hmm. x times what is x squared? We need to say x times x. So my matching step is I'm going to say, hey, x times x is x squared. That's it. Simple as that. That's, a, that's how we start. The second step is to multiply. Now when I'm multiplying downward, I have to multiply x and 2. Because before, we would multiply by 3, sure. But if this was 31, we'd multiply the 3 and the 1 also. It'd be 3 tens and 1 single. So we're going to multiply it by both, so take a look how I'm going to do this. I'm going to multiply them x by x and x times 2. We're going to be x squared plus 2x. This is my multiply stage. So we match first, then we multiply down, and then our last step here is we're going to subtract. Now please pay attention to how I'm going to ask you guys to subtract. I'm going to ask you guys to always write a parenthesis and put a negative in the front. Always write a parenthesis and a negative in the front. After you do this, I want you guys to distribute the negative inside a positive x squared. See how this x squared is positive? Times a negative, that becomes a negative x squared. I'm going to have you guys write the symbol on top. Now that has a negative x squared. A negative times 2, it gives me a negative 2. So take a look at these little symbols. This is really negative x squared minus 2x. Now, the reason why I write the symbols on top, because I don't want to rewrite the problem. Okay, I don't want to rewrite the problem. Do you remember us doing this for, um, we did this for when we were solving um, solving using matrices, right? Or solving using um, uh, elimination for system of equations, right? We drew, wrote little symbols on top. All right, so next step here, let's go ahead and finish this off. x squared minus x squared cancels out. Perfect. That's what we wanted. And 6 minus 2. What's 6 minus 6x minus 2x? That's going to be 4x. And just like in division, we always bring down that next term. Okay. So if you got lost a little bit, we're going to do all three steps over again uh, just to make sure we're kind of shored up here. So we're going to repeat all three steps. Now that we're on the next level, just like in long division, we're going to start all over. And we're going to match, multiply, and subtract. Looking at the front term, looking at the front term here and the front term here, what number do I need to multiply by to match? What number do I need to multiply to make x look like 4x? I need to multiply by the number 4. So I'm going to write a plus 4 here. We're going to multiply 4 times x and 4 times 2, right? We're going to multiply that number by the front. That's going to be 4x plus 8. Last step is to subtract. 
I'm going to write negative 4 and negative 8. See, I changed them to negatives without really doing much work. And then we see 4 minus 4 is 0, and 8 minus 8 is 0. So just like for long division, if we have a 0 at the end, we have 0 remainder. So what is x squared plus 6x plus 8? divided by x plus 2, it is x plus 4. See, that's my final answer. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys a, another problem right now just to work on, and we're going to do the same exact thing. Now, here's the obvious question. Which is faster, factoring or long division? If you, if you could do this, if you had to do this yourself, factoring and long division. Factoring by like 10 folds, right? If you could factor this already, we don't need long division. Okay? We don't need long division. The point is that sometimes, and in many cases, for regular numbers, we don't know what the factors are. So we do do long division. If I tell you the number is uh, 5, 7, 3, what are the factors of 5, 7, 3? I don't know. So you would start doing long division. You start dividing numbers by 3. Why did I know 3? Because 5 plus 7 is 12, 12 plus 3 is 15, and I can divide 15 by 3. So this is going to be, um, if I divide it straight as it is, five goes in, no, five goes, 3 goes into 5 one time, remainder 2. 3 goes into 27. 9 times, remainder 0, and 3 goes into 3 one time. Okay, so the factors is 191 times 3. Those are the factors of 573. We would just start guessing factors. Can you do it? Okay, so I'm going to pick up one more, or uh, another version of this. Um, x squared plus x minus 6, and we're going to divide it by x um, plus, sorry, x plus 3, okay? Okay, so I wrote the division slightly different. Another way of writing division is something divided by something else. So when you have problems like this, we know the front is being divided by the back. So rewriting this in long division form. Now, some of you guys can see that these are fact this is factorable, okay? So you can probably jump to the answer. But I just want us to use this simple tool as just a starting point for us. Okay, so first step is to match. What do I need to write up here so when I multiply, it matches exactly down here? Okay. So x times what is x squared? x times x. Hopefully you guys are cool with that, so we match. Next step is to fill out that second line. Just like in long division, you're going to fill out that second line. So x times, we're going to multiply down. So we're going to multiply x by x and 3. Make sure you multiply by both terms, all right? So we have x squared plus 3x, all right? We fulfilled that step. That was our multiply. And again, these are exactly the same steps as regular division, regular long division that we learned in fourth grade. Then we're going to multiply, uh, multiply by a negative one. Sorry. So now we're going to subtract. So I'm going to write a little ticker sign, a little negative on top, right? A negative times positive and negative. That's why it's a negative x squared and a negative 3x. So now we visually can see x squared minus x squared is 0, and x minus 3x is going to give us a negative 2x. And then we're bring down the 6. All right, now we restart. Match. What can I get x to? x times what is negative 2? x. We need to make that a negative 2. We multiply down. Negative 2 times x and 3. Okay, we're multiply at negative 2 times x and 3. That becomes negative 2x minus 6. And then our last step here is to subtract. 
So a negative becomes a positive and a negative becomes a positive. Are you guys okay with me making those negatives into positives, hopefully? Make those negatives in, into positives. And then we end up with zero remainder. So the answer to this question up here, x squared plus x minus 6 divided by x plus 3. Our remainder is x minus 2. Now, just to write this once again in a slightly different way, if I wrote x squared plus 6x, then darn it, plus x minus 6 divided by x plus 3, and we factored instead, we our factors would have been x plus 3, x minus 2, divided by x plus 3. Take a look here, our term on top and our term on bottom are exactly the same. Those would have divided out, and we're left with x minus 2. Right, so same answer if we had done in factoring so much faster. But this is a tool for us to, to work with. This working, We're just learning the baby steps. Learning the baby steps. All right. So what if it wasn't divisible cleanly? What if it didn't divide nicely? So I'm going to give you guys a super messy one today. Here is negative 3v squared minus 4v plus 17. And we're going to divide this by v minus 2. So this one looks like it's going to be a remainder. 2 doesn't go into 17. So I'll show you guys today how to write this as a remainder. We switched the var variable from x to v just to switch it up. And we threw some other ugly numbers here, like that uh, negative 3 there, which I don't really like. Okay, so we're going to write this long division because I don't know how to divide these. So negative 3, v squared minus 4v plus 17. Now, a thing that people mess up uh, isn't usually on the steps. They mess up on miswriting something. Maybe you might forget a negative sign. Uh, maybe you might forget to subtract. So just be careful uh, with the small steps. First step is to match. v times what becomes negative 3v squared. Regular v times what gives me negative 3v squared? I need a negative 3 and another v to make v become v squared. Okay, that's our match step. Next step is to multiply. Let's go ahead and multiply this downward. Multiply to the front and to the back. So if you guys are working with me, you guys can work ahead of me. I'm just working a little slower. Make sure you guys can uh, jump ahead if you can. So negative 3 v squared plus 2 times 3 is 6. Negative negative is a positive 6v. All right, we match. We multiply it, and now we're going to do our next step. We're going to subtract this. Now, careful when you subtract. Remember, you're going to flip the signs. Negative becomes a positive 3, and positive 6 becomes a negative 6. All right, let's go ahead and combine those terms. We see that the 3 and the negative 3 cancel out. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. And we have a negative 4, negative 6 is negative 10v. Bring down our next step. Okay, once we're in next step, let's go ahead and repeat. Okay, now that we're repeating, we're going to say what's our match? V times what is negative V? Uh, we're going to match with a negative 10, right? Negative 10 times V is negative 10V. We're going to multiply down negative 10V plus 20. And then we're going to, sub to subtract, put negative in front. That flips to positive, that flips to negative. We have 17 minus 20 is negative 3. And we can't make V look like negative 3 anymore. So we are actually done with this, and now we have a remainder. And before, you would write negative 3V minus 10 with a remainder of negative 3, right? That's how you do long division normally. But we're going to rewrite it as minus, because it's a minus sign, okay? The minus 3 divided by v minus 2. Our remainder is actually this last term. It's going to be a remainder of negative 3. You know what? I tried to divide v minus 2 from it, but it I couldn't do it. Now, we've actually done this before. If I say, what is 10 divided by 3? Well, we know 10 goes in, 3 goes into 10 three times with a remainder of 1, right? We can say remainder 1. But we would write it as 3, 1 out of 3. I write what I'm trying to divide by under the remainder. 
if I try to say, what is 25 divided by 6? We couldn't do it. We know it goes into 4, remainder 1. Rewrite 1 out of 6. So that's exactly what we're doing here, except in this case it could be plus or minus, so you want to include the sign plus or minus. If it's a positive, we say plus this fraction. If it's negative, we say minus this fraction. Looking at quarters, if I say um, you have uh, 13 quarters, right, divide by 4, how much money do we have? We have $3 plus 1 quarter left, right? Plus 1 quarter left, or 3 and 1 fourth. All right, so this is what you guys are going to do for your homework, and really is just matching it up and dividing it. Okay, now here's one more step. I want to show you guys a proof. Okay, this is the miracle. This is the, the part that's kind of crazy. We had a difference in sum of two squares the other day. We said if I give you x cubed minus 27, this is a difference of two cubes. We had a rule x and 3. Do you guys remember what the factors would be? How could you factor this out? Okay, let's see if you remember how could you factor this out. So x times x times x, that gave me x cubed. 3 times 3 times 3 was 27. Let's see right now if you guys can remember. If you guys can write this out on your sheet of paper, I'll give you guys 5 seconds to see if you guys can fill that out. So if you remember, if it's negative, it stays negative. So we know we have a negative sign, and we just copy one of each. It's almost like a buffet. I'm just going to copy one of each. Now the rest of it, x times what is x cubed? x times x squared. And 3 times what is 27? 3 times 9. Is it going to be positive or negative? Well, negative times a positive gives me the negative 27 in the front. And if you, remember, if you remember, once again, if it's negative in the front, we have to have everyone else positive, and that's 3x. So hopefully you guys remember this. If you don't, go back and review it. But today, I want to prove this point to you. I'm going to prove this to you. Okay? So we're going to say x cubed minus 27 divided by x minus 3. I'm going to prove this to you right now. I want to do this in long division. x minus 3 is going to divide into x cubed minus 27. Now, if you want, if you feel like you're fancy, you could add extra zeros here, plus 0x squared, plus 0x uh, minus 27. If you want, you could write this down, but this is totally optional. You don't need to do this. Okay, Totally optional, you don't need to do this. So I'm going to do it without it to show you guys, hey, you don't need it. But it is easier on the eyes. Right? It's easier on the eyes when you do write it. Okay, so we're going to do long division here. First step is to match x times what is x cubed? x times x squared. Got it. Multiply. Multiply downward. That's going to be x cubed minus 3x squared. Good. And then we're going to subtract. Negative, positive. Is 27 and 3x squared like terms? They are not just like in long division. We wait for the 27 till later. We're going to say it's going to be 3x squared. And you can write minus 27 if you want. You don't have to. You can save it for later. It's up to you. It's all personal preference here. But we're not, we didn't touch the 27 because we have no like terms. All right. Restart. How can I make x look like 3x squared? We need a positive 3x. So we multiply that down. 3x squared minus 9x. Okay, and then we subtract, that's a negative and a positive. Can I mix 9x and 27? We see that 3x and negative 3x cancel out, x squared. But can I mix negative 27 and 9x? We cannot, so I'm going to write those down, 9x minus 27. Last step, x times what is 9x? x times positive 9. That's going to be 9x minus 27. Oh my goodness. This match perfectly, zero remainder. So if we did divide out x cubed minus 27 by x minus 3, we ended up with x squared plus 3x plus 9. Rewriting this over here, x cubed minus 27 is equal to x minus 3 times x squared minus plus 3x 
plus 9. And that was our identity up on top. So if you ever get stuck and you forget what the rule is, you can use long division or synthetic division, what we're going to learn next time uh, on, these, on this type of uh, material here. Okay? All right.